Hi, hello, how are you? Good morning, happy Monday. Um, I'm working. <laughs> I don't have a ton of stuff to do. I'm kind of just doing some like tidying bits. Um, last minute end of the year stuff. Most of my coworkers are off. I think one of my bosses is back today, but the other one I know for sure doesn't come back until next week. So we'll see what I have to do this week. Um, trip wise, even if we don't go to Colorado, I'm still going to take a half day on Wednesday. I'll have Thursday and Friday off, Saturday, Sunday, and then possibly going to take Monday off. It really just depends. I have it requested and my boss has approved it. Um, but we'll see. I am really hoping that I don't start to feel bad, but that's why I have the days off just in case. Reading wise, as I mentioned at the end of the last vlog, I am still in the middle of The Girl with the Whispering Shadows. I am really, really enjoying it. I just love this world so much. I think it's so magical and the magic system is really unique to other books that I've read. It's other books that's pretty typical like witch magic and how things work. Um, but the way that magic is used through like quills or through the crowns is really, really interesting. I also really, really enjoy the story behind Ivy's family. She is currently in Belzebeth, which is the town which we like learned about in the first book. Only the people who live there and know of its name know that it's enchanted and protected from the Dark Queen, which is why Ivy is there. But some things are happening things that haven't happened before, this like quill owned by this like dark scrivenist um, was stolen. And we do know that it ends up with like a young girl. We don't know who she is or anything about her. But there are some things happening in this town where things aren't supposed to happen. And I'm just really enjoying it. I'm also really enjoying getting to learn more about Ivy and about like her past. I mean, it's not her past, it's her family's past. And this town has this like whole area outside that's dedicated to trying to find her because in Belzebeth they have a prophecy about a girl who is the last heir to the throne like rightful heir and she is going to help take down the dark queen and Finn this boy that Ivy kind of has a crush on who she's staying with right now in Belzebeth you know asks her like you're her right you're the girl from the prophecy that I spent my entire life like learning about and she's like, yeah, I am. And so he takes her to see this like wall that's got all these articles about like possible sightings and people who are still hopeful that her family will come back. Um, and I think it was a really touching moment for her, but I also think she's realizing like, it's a lot of pressure being her. Like a lot of people have very high expectations of her, which is not great. <laughs> um, overall, I'm really enjoying it. I It's really helping my anxiety to do some reading right now, so I'm hoping I will get some done later tonight. Um, for today, just staying home all day, I do have a curbside pickup for yarn from Michaels. It's for a blanket that I want to make for my Nana. I haven't even finished the one that I'm currently working on, but I got a gift card for Michaels, so I wanted to buy the yarn, and they were having a sale yesterday, so... It just seemed perfect. Um, Work-wise, don't have a lot to do. Probably gonna be done in the next 15 minutes or so. And then I'm going to set up my new Archer and Olive bullet journal for 2020. I also want to work on a spending tracker. Um, just being a little more mindful of like where my money goes because sometimes I'm like, Oh, like I didn't buy any books this month which means when I go to Target I can get three t-shirts instead of two which is like that doesn't help because instead of saving that money I'm just spending it somewhere else so I'm trying to be a little more mindful about my spending this coming year my boyfriend and I are trying to move out and do some like big things for our future so need to work on that a little bit um, I hope you all are having a great start to your week and I will update you later Hello from my chair, which I barely sit on now. Um, oh, I am just, here. every time I start talking, my dog comes in. I'm just so, so stressed out about what to do with our trip. I, 
you know, we talk to the family that we're going to be staying with and they don't really mind, which is nice, I guess, but I do. I don't feel comfortable traveling. And I just think that even if we went, I would be uncomfortable. I wouldn't be any fun while we were there. My boyfriend was like, we'll go see the tombs. And if you find out if you're positive or negative, you know, if you're negative, then that means you can go see your sister. And if not, then you won't. And I'm like, but there's still the possibility that I am and I'm traveling and the possibility that I could be spreading it to somebody else. So I just, uh, I feel so anxious. I want to make him happy. But at the same time, I need to, I know that I need to do what I feel most comfortable with. Um, because then I'm just going to be uncomfortable the entire time that I'm there. And I'm really, really hoping that we'll get our results by tomorrow so I can make like a definitive decision. But I also hate just waiting, not knowing what we're like really going to be doing. Um, I am a person who likes to plan. I like to have things ready, you know, ahead of time. I would be packing today so that it's not something that I have to worry about tomorrow. And I don't want to pack and get his hopes up that we're going to be going and then we don't. So I'm just, I hope he at least gets his results. Um, I just, I don't think I'm going to get them before I go. I don't know what to do. Uh, anyways, reading wise, I read like 30 more pages of The Crowns of Croswald last night and I also realized that I've been forgetting to update you guys on the NetGalley books that I'm reading. So I am 19.5% of the way into um, The Once and Future Queen by Clara O'Connor. I got approved for it. It comes out in January so I was like, oh I really need to read that. I've just not been doing a lot of reading. I've been doing a ton of knitting so Today, since I'm basically done with work, I'm going to do what I did yesterday, take my laptop into the living room, keep an eye on um, emails as they're coming in, and just sit on the couch and read and try not to think about our trip and our flight for a little bit, because I just... Oh, it's stressing me out so much. It's just making me feel so nauseous and anxious, and I can't handle it. Um... But yeah, I'm I'm doing I'm getting a little bit of reading done <laughs> in between, you know, bouts of anxiety and stress. Um oh, I just don't know what to do. Hello, happy Wednesday. Um I just got out of the shower. I'm nearly done with work. It's 11:30. I go on lunch in half an hour and I have to go run some errands. Um still just waiting for results. Don't know what's going to happen. Uh like I said, we have to leave at 3 o'clock to go to my boyfriend's parents' house. Sorry, there's an alley that runs right through here and sometimes I see vehicles and I'm like, where are you going? Um, but we have until 3 to figure out. My boyfriend tested negative, he got his results yesterday. So I'm assuming that that means that I'm negative, but I am still waiting for my results to come in. I am still packing, still like cleaning up the house, I don't want to leave any food out or a mess to come home to um so that's that's pretty much what I'm doing I took this girl on a walk yesterday and I listened to I think three or four chapters of finale I don't know why I just keep picking it up and putting it down it's so good um and I have just loved that entire series but that's pretty much all of the, it's just so magical and also dark, which you don't get a lot. Um, well, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm saying right now. I'm kind of feeling a bit frazzled about all the things that I have to do and just the waiting period. Um, <clears throat> So I'm gonna go run a few errands, things that I've like already ordered that I just need to do like curbside pickup for, clean up, keep packing, and fingers crossed that <laughs> um, I get my results. And while I am running errands, I am going to continue listening to Finale. Um, I'm in the middle of like four or five books. I don't think I'm gonna finish. I might finish The Crowns of Croswald. Um, today or tomorrow it really just depends 
Also, if we're in Colorado, on Friday is really the only thing, the only day that I have plans. I'm going to see my sister, God willing. Um, and I think our plan is just to spend the whole day in her hotel room, watching movies and YouTube videos and eating snacks and having food delivered, which I am so, so looking forward to. I just miss my sister so much. I talk to her on FaceTime all the time, but it's definitely not the same. I haven't seen my niece since she was four months old and she's going to be a year old next week, which is mind blowing to me. Um, and I just want to get to see her while she's still like little. Um, because I, I haven't gotten to enjoy any of that. So that is our plan if we get to go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go run some errands now and listen to Finale. Like I said, I'm like halfway through Finale, halfway through the Crowns of Crosswald, like 40% of the way into Once and Future Queens. Um, I doubt I'm going to finish all of those before the end of the year, which is tomorrow. Um, but I definitely think that I can finish at least one of them because we have a two hour flight so I mean I'm gonna bring my iPad so that my boyfriend can watch something but I am probably going to spend the whole plane ride reading which I don't know I just I want to finish at least one more book that's my plan so I'm gonna go run my errands now and I will update you guys later uh, you'll either see me on the couch sad or at the airport Sunday um happy 2021 happy January that sounds kind of crazy to say but here we are um I'm back from Colorado I am so mentally exhausted I'm pretty physically tired I got into bed at like 7 30 last night I didn't go to bed until like almost 11 because I was reading but I am really really tired um mostly emotional like I said I have a lot of things to do today um uh, I'm just tired here comes Marcy always as soon as I start filming here she comes um our trip was really really good we went and saw Chris and Tracy who are like my boyfriend's family friends we stayed one night with them had breakfast with them stayed with Dane for the rest of the time um we went to the place called Garden of the Gods, which was gorgeous. Um, it's part of the footage that I have just before this, the like reddish brown uh, rocks area. It is like a trail that you can walk through, but because it was cold and we're not really used to that, um, and because we had other plans, we just did like the drive through part and we did stop for some pictures that <laughs> look good and then you don't. Um, just getting down from the rock where we took photos was difficult for me. Um, and Dane took some photos that just look hilarious of me struggling to get down without falling. Um, <clears throat> we also went to Mantu in Colorado to have lunch and then we met up with his dad and his brother, uh, Dane's dad and brother, to go-kart race, which I don't recommend if you are having bad anxiety. I 
felt my heart racing when we were first starting. I know that's just like, it's just go-kart racing, but when you're six inches off the ground going almost 60 miles an hour, it really, really messes with you. And the guys that I was racing with, I mean, Skylar and his family and Dane's family have been going like dirt bike riding their entire lives. So I came in last both times, but the second time I did better than I did the first time. So I'm calling that a personal win. Um, we went to Dane's neighbor's house for New Year's Eve night. There was like maybe 10 of us and it was just very relaxed, not really relaxed, but there wasn't a lot of us and his friends are so, so nice, if not a little bit crazy. Everybody there was in their like late 30s and one of the ladies was 42. And when I was talking to her, she was saying something about like, yeah, and you're, you know, in my 20s, it was fine. And I was like, I'm 25. And she just straight up told me, I could be your mother, which is true because my mom's like 45 years old. So she could have been my mom. Um, but his friends were great. They were so nice. And then the next day we went to go see my sister and my niece who is just a brat, but I love her. She's so funny. She wasn't super welcoming when we first got there, but it's because they had just, she had just fallen asleep maybe like 20 minutes before we arrived. And obviously I was like, okay, well I flew from a different state to come see you. So you need to wake up. She was grumpy, but I started showing her pictures of Marcy on my phone and she was like in love and just wanted to look through my phone and she watched videos and she only watches like 30 seconds of the video before she changes it, which was really funny. And we ordered Sonic to the room, which is like my holy grail of places. I don't like the ones here in California, but in other states it seems to be so good. And apparently she doesn't really like chicken nuggets, but I gave her one while I was eating and she loved it and she came back the second time and was like making eye contact with me as she reached in to get another one. And my sister's like, she never eats stuff like that. I was like, well, she seems to like it. So, um, and then we were supposed to go back to Dane's family's, our friend's house to do like smoked ribs, but we were all just so exhausted. So we just spent our last night having pizza and watching movies. We watched The Devil All the Time, which was so good. The actor who plays Dudley Dursley is in there. Robert Pattinson is in there. Tom Holland. There's just a lot of really good actors in there. And it was really good. It really makes you think, though, about how people use Christianity to do evil things. And then we watched The Perks Being a Wallflower, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, and then we went to bed early because we'd be up at like 7 in the morning because Dane lives like an hour and a half away from where the airport is and we were leaving at 10 a.m. So it was just a very, very like full on trip and I am exhausted. Um, I did manage to finish The Crowns of Croswald on the airplane. I read there and back and I got to, let's see, 359 pages by the time the plane ended and it's 372. So when we came home, we showered and I ordered food, which got canceled and then I had to order something else. And then I just sat on the couch and finished the last of this book. And honestly, I want to pick up the next one, but I do have other books that are in line. I also spent um, some time last night listening and reading along with Finale. I am 330 pages into it. Um, I'm almost done. I have maybe like two or three hours left on the audiobook, which I'm going to listen to today because I have to go grocery shopping. I have Christmas gifts to return for people that I had like bought for and that didn't show up. It was just like an in case gift um, because I would have felt really bad if somebody had showed up and I didn't have a gift for them. Um, and then I have to take some stuff to my mom. So I'm just going to listen to that and hopefully finish that today. Um, and then I also have some book-ish and book mail. Uh, one of them I opened already, but I did want to show it to you. So this is from Day Designer. I use their planners. I've used it. This will be my third one. Um, I've gotten one every year since I started working at Inland Regional Center. I just love them. Um, for the way that they're set up and it just works so well for my job and what I need. So this is the box that it comes in and then it pulls out to your journal. And I believe I got the White Rose journal. This is much bigger than the way that they were doing minis last year. I'll show you in a second. I like opened this and then fully rewrapped it so that I could reopen it again on this. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> so this is the planner from last year that I got and this is the one that they came out with this year and this is their small version there is a bigger version than this this is considered their mini um but so this is the one that I got and part of why I like it is because it has a monthly overview which I do use to schedule like meetings and paydays and stuff like that uh, I put my coworkers' birthdays in there as well and then the, so they're broken up into time slots so I can put meetings or anything that I have to do um, when certain like projects are due like if I have to turn something into Anthony by a certain time and then the other is just to do and I this is how I typically track what I'm doing for the day uh, and I just really really like the quality and I like that it's spiral bound because then I can just be flipped to that day um, and it's just easier to write for me that way so this is my pl work planner for the new year uh, this is gonna be a long clip and then I got some book mail uh, I originally went to Barnes & Noble to go purchase these the night before I had checked to see if they were in stock and it says that they were and then we went around like one I think and they were out they had fire but not Graceling um, and I don't think that they had bitter blue I think is what the third book is called Marcia Lee come on sometimes she gets too crazy for me So outside of the series that I had purchased, I also purchased the Mysterious Benedict Society by Trenton Lee Stewart. I saw somebody post about this because she was buying like a bunch of books on Barnes Noble's website and was like, should I buy this one or this one, this one or this one? And I read the synopsis for this that she posted and I just thought it sounded so interesting. Um, so it says, are you a gifted child looking for special opportunities? When this peculiar ad appears in the newspaper, dozens of children enroll to take a series of mysterious mind-bending tests. And you, dear reader, can test your wits right alongside them. But in the end, just four very special children will succeed. They're challenged to go on a secret mission that only the most intelligent and resourceful children can complete. With their newfound friendship at stake, will they be able to pass the most important test of all? And it looks like there is a bunch in this series, which I am super excited for. This is a middle grade, which I have just been loving recently and then I purchased these and I read Graceling in 2015 no 2011 I think is what I had looked it up on Goodreads so it's been 10 years <laughs> since I read this and I remember loving it so much I borrowed it from a library in El Paso when I was visiting my grandmother and it was just so good and I love these new like covers that are coming out I think that they are gorgeous so I got Graceling oh they sent me the wrong copy of fire I'm gonna have to go return this to Barnes and Noble today and get the copy that I wanted to match this set and then I also got bitter blue which is the third in the series and and penguin teen is doing a read-along with this series um to promote the fact that the fourth book in this series is coming out at the end of january i believe and i was supposed to have read graceling from december 27th to january 2nd which was yesterday but obviously they didn't arrive they got here when we were in colorado um so i haven't had the opportunity to read them but i think i'm going to pick up graceling after i finish finale although i do have two books on net galley one of which i think came out or comes out on the 4th and then another one comes out like on the 16th or something so I really need to read those as well I just have so many books that I'm like I need to read this now um but that's good because sometimes I have no idea what I'm going to read so I just finished cleaning the bathroom I'm going to go tidy up the kitchen now um and then I need to clean out the fridge grocery shop do all sorts of stuff so I will update you guys at the end of the day hopefully I will have finished finale um but if not it's fine because it's only january 3rd hello it's sunday night i am tired i'm in bed i'm still wearing my christmas pjs um and i'm getting ready to go to sleep but i just finished finale and it was so good i don't want to spoil it for anybody that is like me and has waited so long to read it uh but it was such a satisfying and like sweet ending 
Um, and I'm really just loving all of these like really intense magical books that I'm reading. Um, they're just very like magic focused. Uh, it's been really really great. I've really really enjoyed it. I love Donatella and Legend. I love Scarlet and Julian. I am a little sad for Jax um, that there was a possibility that he really did love Donatella but again I don't want to spoil anything. I do believe that there is a novella coming out that is Jax related this year. I'm not 100% sure but I'm definitely gonna read that and this was so good so that's two books down and it's only the third. I am like I said, in the middle of two others, Crown of Bones and a Star, A Once and Future Queen, which I'm going to continue on reading tomorrow and hopefully finish in the next couple of days because I really, really need to get that reviewed and up along with Crown of Bones, which are going to be the two books that I focused on next week. And then I'm going to pick up the third book in the Crowns of Croswald series and read that because... Oh, I am just so in love with that world and already wanting to reread the first book and just be back in that world so much. So I'm going to go to bed now. Um, I hope you guys all have a great week next week that the beginning of your year, that the beginning of your year goes well. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what your reading plans for 2021 are, how your reading went in 2020. Um, any personal goals just we're coming in quietly sitting down not making too much noise in 2021 just <sighs> hoping that things go well I'm actually excited for work tomorrow because I get to set up like all of my 2021 spreadsheets and stuff so that's fun I'm gonna go to bed now and I will see you guys in the next one bye